the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O God, who called the Bishop St. Irenaeus to confirm true doctrine and the peace of the Church, grant, we pray, through his intercession, that, being renewed in faith and charity, we may always be intent on fostering unity and comfort. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Amos. Listen, sons of Israel, to this oracle the Lord speaks against you, against the whole family I brought out of the land of Egypt. You alone of all the families of the earth have I acknowledged. Therefore, it is for all your sins that I mean to punish you. Do two men take the road together if they have not planned to do so? Does the lion roar in the jungle if no prey has been found? Does the young lion growl in his lair if he has captured nothing? Does the bird fall to the ground if no trap has been set? Does the snare spring up from the ground if nothing has been caught? Does the trumpet sound in the city without the populace becoming alarmed? Does misfortune come to a city if the Lord has not sent it? No more does the Lord do anything without revealing his plans to his servants, the prophets. The lion roars. Who can help feeling afraid? The Lord speaks. Who can refuse to prophesy? I overthrew you as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and you were like a brand snatched from the blaze, and yet you never came back to me. It is the Lord who speaks. This, therefore, Israel, is what I plan to do to you, and because I am going to do this to you, Israel, prepare to meet your God. The Word of the Lord Lead me, O Lord, in your justice. You are no God who loves evil, no sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. Lead me, O Lord, in your justice. You hate all who do evil. You destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty man the Lord detests. Lead me, O Lord, in your justice. But I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Lead me, O Lord, in your justice. Alleluia, alleluia. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends out his word to the earth. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus got into the boat, followed by his disciples. With that warning, a storm broke over the lake, so violent that the waves 
were breaking right over the boat. But he was asleep. So they went to him and woke him, saying, Save us, Lord, we are going down. And he said to them, Why are you so frightened, you men of little faith? And with that, he stood up and rebuked the winds and the sea, and all was calm again. The men were astounded and said, Whatever kind of man is this, even the winds and the sea, Obey him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your courage? How little faith you have. Our Lord ties his disciples with these words. But they are directed to us. He also chides us about being fearful about so many things. It is a very good lesson he wants to teach us. So often we are anxious about so many things that much confidence in God's goodness and power. We need no proof that fear is very widespread. The poor are afraid that they cannot make ends meet. The rich are afraid they may lose their wealth in the stock market. The less educated are afraid of Conversation with the more educated, lest they be put to shame. The educated often are afraid of losing social position and prestige. Then you have the superstitious. who are afraid of all kinds of nonsense. From black hats to walking under ladders. People without religion or faith are fearful of the uncertainties of life and especially of death. But it is very sad and surprising to find people with faith and religious people with vain, empty fears. They are like the disciples in the Gospel today. Although our Lord himself was right there with them in the boat when they were caught in the storm. They still cried out in utter dread, Lord, save us, we are lost. Jesus in his goodness calmed the sea, but he reproached them for their lack and for their fear in spite of his presence. Where is your courage? 
how little faith you have. The same rebuke Jesus addresses to us for our petty dreads and foolish fears. We forget that he is ever present in our lives. And so we fear for our health. We are afraid of our children, for our homes. They are, of course, health fears, or rather healthy concern. We should take necessary precautions for our lives. Our families, for our moral well-being, and for the spiritual welfare of our dear ones. We should have a healthy dread of sin. But there are so many foolish fears that hinder our work, our happiness, and our spiritual life. These are the fear for which our Lord chides us and asks us to simply remember His constant presence in our lives. God bless you. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Through these sacred mysteries, we pray, O Lord, give us in your compassion an increase of that faith which brought glory to the Bishop Saint Irenaeus as he maintained it even until death. And may the same faith bring us to you who truly follow it, justification in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful day and take care.